Here's the uh, the demo of the expected results of the final ALU circuit with the seven segment display. Here you see I have the display and then I have the input buttons here so these four represent A, these four represent B and A is represented here on the LED screen. There's B and this is the result for the arithmetic operations. So if I start with a simple value, I'll say 2 and 3. The default um, operation here, I'm using these three buttons as the command. So they are now 0, 0, 0. That means add A and B. If I push uh, this button, it'll be 0, 0, 1. That says subtract uh, B from A. So this is 2 minus 3, which gives us a result of negative 1. And if I do 0, 1, 0, I get A plus plus, which is just incrementing A. We could see that easier if I change these values. So A is 0, A plus 1 is 1. And then the next value, I'll make a rather large value. Um, is 0, 1, 1. And what this is going to do is multiply A and B. The result is uh, two hex numbers. And multiplication is the only thing that's currently using this second uh, LED display here. So I multiply those values together and get the correct result. And of course this is in hex. From now on, uh, all of the commands will be bitwise operations. And so to do that, uh, I will start with 100 as my command, which will AND A and B. So you can see that the two result uh, displays are blank. And the results are now being shown on the four LEDs here. So those four LEDs will show you C and 6 and of course I could change it around and do some stuff with it so you could see different values uh, the next one is 101 and that's OR now here I am, I'm showing a bug uh, my B value whenever I do an OR statement always shows 8 with a decimal point uh, even though that's nowhere in the, my design right now. So I'm still working out that bug. Um, but you can see the value on, on the LEDs here is uh, valid. I am doing an OR statement here. Uh, if I do 110, one, one, I do an XOR of C and 5. And then if I do a 111, that's going to give me the inverse of A. So A is C, which is 1, 1, 0, 0. And I do the inverse of that, I get 0, 0, 1, 1. Um, something that I didn't mention uh, were these upper LEDs. These upper four LEDs here represent, oops, here, uh, represent the carry flag, zero flag, negative flag, and overflow flag for the arithmetic operations and they disappear uh, whenever I multiply, or at least they should. Um, another thing is, let's see, we have uh, C plus 5. Let me do uh, 1 minus 1 will give me a 0, and a 0 flag lights up. So uh, those are the flags. These are your arithmetic results and these LEDs are your bitwise results.